welcome friends in our talent open studio in this session we are going to focus on how to read it read the data from your no sql database like mongodb so first of all you have to install mongodb on your on your machine uh, you can see i have installed mongodb in program program files and uh, 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 let's go to the servers and there are two file folders okay one is 4.0 or 3.0 i'm using 4.0 and here is a pin folder now there is a Mo uh, mongodb cell and another is a mongodb database server so first of all you have to run it like edge okay after that uh, you have to run mongodb cell now i have run it so i'm going to show you so dbs dbs this is a command it is going to show you all the databases in this um, mongodb database okay now i'm going to use db call this is the name of the database and please keep in mind all the things should be in small letter because uh, mongodb is a case sensitive and uh, you have to take care of it okay now if uh, you want to see all the collections so collections are similar to the database tables in sql server so here they are known as a collections so i want to show some data from my any one collection so here i am using twitter twitter's me dot find find is a command to show all the data in this collection so i need to find only single column find one it will return a single record like this so first of all i am going to back my talent and create a job call read data from mongodb okay i have created this job and finish it okay now we have a blank job so i am going to my metadata here and there is a no sql hmm, no sql connection so i am going to create a new connection uh mongodb db connections okay so just copy this paste this and go to the next here you have to select db type so i'm not i'm using mongodb then this is the db version and post server if uh, because i have installed mongodb in my local machine so i am using local host if you have a mongodb in another server then you have to pass the id then the database name so i am using db call and check it now i have connect, uh, i have created a connection to connect to mongodb and finish it okay so here you can see uh, this is my mongodb connection just drag and drop it in the job now it will ask uh, there are multiple components but i am using mongodb input okay now uh, double click on it now basic setting has been open so i am using mongodb connection which we have created and use existing connections okay you can see that 
so you can see if I am going to select use existing connection so it will ask you a connection so we did not make any connection so we are going to unselect it and use the modable connection metadata which we have created ok now here you can see the same settings db version server and port and database name after that you have to set the your collection name so in your collection section what i am going to set i am going to set ok twitter data it is case sensitive so you should keep in mind that ok you have to use it now you have to build a schema so i have already created a schema for this id uh, id you can see id from the user information id status count following count and name so i have added this columns into the schema of mongodb connections ok and click on ok button and because these are the column of the parent schema that is users so i am passing users ok and after that what i am going to do we need to check the data so we are adding t log errors and just connect my mongodb input to t log and click on it now you can see we have a build up the same column over here again and uh, schema is the same now we are showing the basics and uh, if you want to show the data in a table table format then select it ok now we are going to execute this so this is the output ok now we have two records ok uh, now uh, we have to store the data in the file so we are going to call t file output delimited ok and connect this uh, t log output to file output delimited now click on it first of all it should be comma separated and using the same data schema so i am going to change the path that is it right and the file from the data from mongodb data loads take a data ok data load mongodb open it ok then change it to csv csv now we are going to execute this package ok ok so now open this file just wait I, have, I think I have opened the wrong file so that is data load yeah. so now you can see that so there is no header so I am going to load the header also so in this uh, MongoDB what I am going to do here first of all include headers in advanced settings so an error and check this checkbox and we run the package ok now I am going to open this file again now you can see these are the headers of the file and the ID all the columns are coming from the MongoDB so it is very easy to pull your data from MongoDB in talent so guys please subscribe my channel on youtube thank you